Hi, I'm Aaron Tunnell, and like many of you, I'm an ex-Mormon. I spent most of my life in the church, held many callings, and served a mission speaking Spanish in the Dominican Republic. But I left the church and came to Christ at the age of 32 in 2012. After I left the church, I started thinking about how I could help LDS people to know more about the church and traditional Christianity. Living in Arizona and Mexico, I'd kept up pretty well with my Spanish over the years, so I started talking to some Latin Americans about the church in Spanish. I figured my efforts might be well spent in trying to clean up the mess that I had made as a Spanish-speaking missionary so many years ago. It took me about five minutes to realize that there are very few resources in foreign languages to confront the church with. There are no historical documents, really, no journal of discourses, no questionable quotes from leaders, and no targeted doctrinal challenges. The church takes extreme care and works tirelessly to present a perfectly uniform, one-sided perspective of its history and its doctrines. The church will not translate anything that it finds to be challenging, especially its own true history and its uh, older and original publications. There are a few personal blogs out there, a podcast or two, and a couple of YouTube videos. The best information right now is actually coming from Joel Groat's team over at IRR.org. It has some excellent uh, short articles on the historical and doctrinal claims of Mormonism in the Spanish language. But really, this just isn't enough. The church has had its sights on Latin America for years now, and it's virtually uncontested down there. What we really need is a Spanish version of mormonthink.com and a Spanish heart of the matter. So I contacted Sean McCraney and also a good friend from Mexico, Efren Casillas, who's a web designer, and we launched into this project a few months ago. Uh, we've been working full throttle on creating a duplicate uh, Spanish web page of mormonthink.com at the website mormonesparajesus.com. We're doing this in conjunction with dubbing Heart of the Matter in Spanish and potentially other languages too. It's my opinion and that of others that these specific tools, these two compact and powerful tools, Mormon Think and Heart of the Matter, are the most efficient at helping LDS learn the difficult issues uh, in Mormonism and find the answers they need in Christianity. We're working hard on developing these resources. And we've managed to translate about half of the Mormon Think website and we're at about 25 episodes or 7% of the Heart of the Matter series. Uh, these episodes are currently available on our YouTube page and soon we should have direct links to them on the Heart of the Matter HOTM.TV website. Originally I had anticipated being able to simply dub the episodes on the fly without any preparation uh, and I thought I could get through the whole series of Heart of the Matter this way in about six, uh, six months or so. But after doing a few it be became a very apparent that we would really need to do this the right way. Even though it would take longer, a more professional approach would have a better impact. So we began transcribing the text of the episodes, which then allows us to have documents that we can translate later into any language and then dub the shows with these, starting with uh, Spanish. So this is where we actually need help. If you've been looking for a way uh, to help and talk to LDS people but you don't really know how, then this is a good place where we need it. Uh, we need people who can get into the archives, the old shows with us, and just type out each week's message. This is an enormous undertaking trying to translate this, and we really need all hands on deck. For years, the church has been sending missionaries into foreign lands. People like you and I sacrificed thousands of dollars, learned a foreign language, and spent two years of our lives spreading this false gospel in places that are just unprepared for that. We created an ecclesiastical mess. And so later on, we came to find out the truth about the church and the destruction that it causes. And are we willing to go clean up that mess? If we're not going to do it, who is? So here's our contact information. If you can help with this, please let us know. We need your help. You don't have to speak a foreign language at all. You just need to be willing to go through these old episodes and, and type them out. And if you can translate, that's a bonus. So send us a message, and we'll definitely put you to work.